Our primary non-native uh, species that are invasive that we have to deal with in the park are several kinds of thistles, spotted knapweed, and white top. These three species consist of plants that are invasive, which means that without any active intervention, they're able to colonize an undisturbed area and eventually exclude native plants from that area. One of our restoration programs is the re restoration of native plant communities, and we do that through the reduction of non-native or invasive weed species within the park. This involves a three-step process, beginning with inventorying, then we do treatments, and finally we monitor what we've done. Inventorying consists of going out on the ground and physically mapping uh, the location and species of non-native plants that are present. The second step is the treatment, which involves two primary methods. Physical treatment, such as hand pulling or the use of shovels to dig up plant species. The second method is the use of herbicide, which in Great Basin National Park we utilize backpack sprayers, which gives the individual sprayer very fine control over which individual plants uh, to make sure that we're not also uh, harming our native plant species. The third step is the monitoring, which involves going back to areas that were previously inventoried and treated. We look at the success of our treatments to see, did we get every species that was out there? Uh, did we miss some? And if we missed any, we document that, and then we also apply retreatments at that time. One of the primary benefits of our invasive species program is that we've managed to restore some acreage in the park. In other words, areas that we previously had large infestations of non-native plants, primarily knapweeds, we've been able to significantly reduce those populations. And we've seen a corresponding rise in um, native grass species come back into those areas.